Hi there, this is Joanne Rudling from howtospell.co.uk and in this fourth video in the Building Words with Prefixes and Suffixes series we're looking at suffixes and spelling rules. This is a very, very brief look at some spelling rules but just a warning, there are always tons of exceptions with spelling rules. It would be nice if a rule was a rule but not in English spelling I'm afraid. Can you remember what a suffix is? They're small words that we add to the end of words to make new words or change the grammar. And they sometimes change the end letter of root words, which is why we're looking at spelling rules. But first we need to understand what vowel and consonant suffixes are. Vowel suffixes are any suffix starting with a A, E, I, O, U. Answer ingable estad Haitian or just a few. And consonant suffixes are the less y ship meant ness full s. There's just just a few of them. Right, let's look at rule number one. Y to I rule with words ending in a consonant plus y. So let's look at Y to I before vowel suffixes, except ing. So let's have a look at carry. So we've got the R to so the consonant plus Y. And if we add ED, we change the Y to I. So carried. Carry plus ER, carrier, carriage. But carrying. We can't have two I's. Yeah, they look at this. But there are exceptions to this. We'll see in a minute. Let's look at Y to I before consonant suffixes. Let's look at beauty. So we've got the T and the Y plus full. The Y becomes I. Beautiful. Happiness. Happiness with an I. Happily with an I. Uh, exceptions are drier, drying, dryish, dryness, slyness. Ooh, let's have a look at this changing IE to Y. So we've got die plus ing, dying. Tie plus ing, tying, lying. Y remains if the word ends in a vowel plus Y. Let's look briefly at drop the E rule. I go into more detail about this rule in my video, drop the E rule. Let's look at drop the E before a vowel suffix, especially drop the E with ING. Make, making, have, having, write, writing. Very important rule that, drop the E with ING. And other vowel suffixes, loved, maker, usable lover. But there are exceptions. Words ending in CE and GE keep the E before OUS and ABL because it soft softens the G and C sound. Courageous, manageable, gorgeous. Let's look at manage. So we've got manageable, we keep the E, but drop the E with ING, ED, ER. Managing, Managed manager. Let's look at keep the E when the word ends in E E or Y E. Agree, agreeing. I, eyeing. See, seeing. Guaranteeing, foreseeing, decreeing. We keep the E before L Y. Accurate plus L Y accurately. Like Lee. Lovely, definitely, but due plus ly we drop the e duly subtle subtly true truly. Let's look at keep the e before meant achieve meant achievement advertise advertisement arrangement excitement involvement replacement. But drop the E with argue, plus meant argument. Also, acknowledgement or acknowledgement without the E. It can be spelled either way. 
Judgment usually keeps the E, but lawyers spell it without the E. Check out the drop the E spelling rule video. Okay, let's have a look at the 111 rule. I've also got a video for this, so check out the 111 doubling up video. But let's have a quick look at it. So words of one syllable ending in one vowel plus one consonant, we double the last letter before a vowel suffix. So we've got shop. So that's one syllable, shop, one vowel, one consonant, and we double up the P, shopped, shopping, shopper. Plan, planned, planning, planner. Fat, fatter, fatten, fattest, fatty. For this, the Y sometimes is a vowel. But don't double up the last letter if it's a W or an X or a Y. Tax, tax, stay, staying. Don't double up if two vowels. So heat, heating, sleep, sleeping, sleeper. Don't double up if two consonants. Sharp, sharpen, fasting, turned. But Q, U is classed as one consonant because we can't have a Q without the U in English words. So quit, quitting, quitter, quitted. Quiz, quizzed, quizzing, quizzer. Words of more than one syllable ending in one vowel plus one consonant, when the stress is on the last syllable, we double up the last letter. So we've got regret, regrettable, regretting, regretted. Forget, forgettable, forgetting. Even the past, forgot, forgotten. Begin, beginner, beginning. But we've got prefer, preferring, preferred with a double R, but we've got preference and preferable and preferential. The stress is on the beginning syllable, so no doubling up of the R. Same as refer, referred, referring, but reference, referee, the stress moves. Confer, conferred, conferring, but conference, no doubling up of the R. Whew. Well, as I said, go to my 111 doubling up rule video for more info on that. Let's look at double the last L. Words of more than one syllable ending in one vowel plus L. Always double up the L before a vowel suffix. Except after I-T-Y and I-S-E. Oh, exceptions. But American English spelling don't double up. Cancel. Cancelling, cancelled, cancellation. But in American spelling, just one L. Marvellous, marvelled, marvelling. In American English, marvellous, marvelling, just one L. Right, that's just a quick look at that. Let's go finally on words ending in vowels that don't change with vowel suffixes. Now, these words are all from other languages or new words like video, videoed, videoing, radio, radioed, taxi. Can you see the double I there? I said there was exceptions, didn't I? And here it is with ski, skied, skier, skiing. So skiing and taxiing. And we've got two eyes in there. Mascarad, hennard, echoed, echoer, echoing. They're brilliant looking words, aren't they? That's it then. The end of the video. It's a bit of a long one, this one. Thank you for sticking with it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.